Hello and welcome to Get Into the Zone with Spatial in Autonomous Database. This will be a high-level introduction to Oracle Spatial. I'm David Lapp, a product manager on the Spatial team. So first, what is Spatial? Well, it's all about location and location relationships. And that's really important because everything happens somewhere, meaning all of the data that we manage in our databases, business data related to incidents, transactions, events, activities, uh, customer service, all of that information can at some level be related to a location. Oracle Spatial allows us to store location as just another data element within the converged Oracle database just another data element sitting alongside our traditional uh, relational data, graph data, JSON data. Well, with Oracle Spatial, location is just a first-class data element within the converged Oracle database. And along with that is the ability that Oracle Spatial provides to answer all kinds of location-based questions, associate data based on location relationships, location relationships like proximity and, and containment. And then at the end of the day, that's all surfaced in the context of business applications, which operate on top of that data to location enable uh, those applications with uh, location-based reporting and uh, map visualizations and so forth. So Oracle Spatial allows us again to natively manage geospatial data for example, points that might represent geocoded address locations, linear features like transportation or utility uh, network alignments, polygon or regional features such as sales territories or marketing areas or zip codes, and other forms of geospatial data such as geographically referenced aerial imagery and drone, uh, drone imagery. All of this geospatial data is managed natively in Oracle Autonomous Database. In fact, it's managed natively across all Oracle databases in the Oracle Cloud, within Cloud at Customer, and in on-premises databases. Along with the ability to natively manage our geospatial or location-based data comes the ability to ask all kinds of location-based questions. And that really, at the end of the day, means that we can associate data together, join data, when there is no other natural key that would let us create that uh, join or association. For example, which properties are located within a flood zone? Well, if we want to join properties and flood zones together, there's no key that lets us create that join, but there is a location or spatial relationship, or a relationship of containment, and spatial lets us create that um, association. Which of our properties or assets are located within a mile of a hurricane path? Again, it's a spatial operation, a proximity query, that allows us to create that uh, association. So we manage geospatial data natively, and we provide a database environment that allows you to ask all kinds of location-based questions that have to do with, uh, with location relationships. So how is Oracle Spatial used? It's used by developers who can simply uh, write SQL and PL SQL as they would normally and just take advantage of the vast library of spatial operations available in the database. Here we see on the right an example of just a simple SQL statement that happens to be using one of those spatial operations a within distance operator to figure out which customers are within a specified distance of a hurricane path. So in addition to working with the native SQL and PL SQL uh, APIs, Developers can create uh, rich web-based applications that leverage these spatial operations through Oracle Application Express, or APEX, which has uh, built-in integration with, uh, with spatial. Similarly, developers can work with Oracle REST Data Services, or ORDS, 
which which is a uh, feature of the database for creating REST APIs. And uh, you can easily expose these spatial operations and location-based uh, features through REST APIs with ORDS. Spatial also has a native Java API, so Java developers have access to most of the features, uh, the, the core features of Oracle Spatial. And Oracle also has a uh, as a high performance and extremely robust driver for Python called CX Oracle, which enables Python developers to leverage these features of the database from uh, Python uh, notebooks and Python applications, simply working with the CX Oracle driver for Python. Now, in addition to developers, business users, non-coders, have access to Oracle Spatial through Oracle Spatial Studio, which is a self-service web application providing drag and drop access to the same spatial Oracle Spatial features I've been talking about for, uh, for spatial uh, analysis and uh, spatial visualization as well. Taking a little bit closer look at Spatial Studio, we see that uh, Spatial Studio provides a drag and drop, no code application so that users can connect to their Oracle autonomous database and other Oracle databases, uh, view their spatial data on a map and perform spatial operations, spatial analyses that are simply calling those spatial features of the database but doing so in a no-code drag and drop environment. Now, Spatial Studio is useful to developers as well in that when you work with Spatial Studio through this drag and drop environment, the code, the database queries that are being generated uh, are visible so that it can be used as a way to uh, understand how to construct spatial operations that you might wanna go uh, off with and continue. Uh, to do some additional customization. Oracle Spatial also uh, is leveraged across the entire industry because of its open and interoperable nature. That means that the, the whole ecosystem of GIS and, and other geospatial tools uh, support natively Oracle Spatial as a spatial data management platform. Similarly, uh, leading geospatial data integration tools such as Safe Software's FME uh, product and others natively support Oracle Spatial as a source and target for geospatial data integration makes it very easy to get data into Oracle Spatial from literally any other format under the sun. And commercial data providers such as TomTom and Here work closely with Oracle and provide data products in the Oracle Spatial format. So Oracle Spatial is accessible by developers, non-technical users, and also accessible through this whole ecosystem of uh, software and services across the whole uh, geospatial industry. Now, because of all this, we end up seeing spatial really sitting behind applications across many, many uh, industries and verticals. It's a, it's a natural fit and it is sitting behind applications in utilities, transportation, logistics, public safety, and more. And these, uh, these applications, both Oracle applications and partner applications, take advantage of Oracle Spatial because of its performance, security, scalability, openness, and generally the way that it's able to provide a flexible, robust environment for managing location data and answering location-based questions. So let's take a look now at a few uh, specific customer examples of uh, how Oracle Spatial is being used. 
Now, first, the U.S. Census Bureau. We're, we're all pretty familiar with the fact that the census, the U.S. Census, uh, delivers a uh, ten every ten years a uh, a census, uh, uh, an accounting of every uh, every person in the, in the United States and where they live. But even above and beyond that sort of central uh, mission of the census for the, the, the 10 year counting is the census's overarching mission. And uh, it's quoted up here at the top that the census mission is to serve as the nation's leading provider of quality data about its people and economy. The Census Bureau is really a, a data provider. And a huge part of the census's ability to provide the statistics and the counting and the uh, the various summaries that, that the Census Bureau conducts is the Census Bureau's maintenance of a national set of spatial data, all kinds of spatial data that's used to uh, that's used to aggregate, combine, summarize, and distill all of the detailed information that's that's collected. So the Census Bureau is really a uh, national mapping uh, national mapping data curator. Uh, that includes features across the United States, uh, across the United States, such as road, rail, housing, postal code, uh, tens of millions of detailed geographic areas that are continually updated and maintained for the whole country which is what allows the census to then summarize and aggregate and publish its uh, findings. Now, the Census Bureau uses that data not only for the development of its own products, but it also provides uh, that data to the public. That data, that national spatial data um, fabric is uh, is managed and maintained within Oracle Spatial, and the big challenge is in the uh, in the ability to continuously update and uh, and and maintain and curate and turn out to turn out um, quality data products. And the Census Bureau has been doing this on Oracle Spatial for many years. Satlog is a uh, German company providing fleet management as a cloud service. Satlog provides uh, logistics and uh, optimized uh, route planning deliveries through its, uh, through its service, including uh, onboard tracking and uh, sensors collecting information from fleets. And that fleet data itself is managed and analyzed in spatial. And the, the key thing that uh, this enables for Satlog is to continually provide both visibility into, uh, into status and conditions and also to, to, uh, to be able to trigger and push all kinds of location-based notifications to their customers. Uh, again, this is uh, this fleet data this fleet logistics data is managed and analyzed in Oracle Spatial by Satlog. Outfront Media is an outdoor advertising uh, business. You've probably seen their billboards along uh, highways and uh, maybe within uh, mass transit and in uh, sports arenas. Outfront uses Oracle Autonomous Database and Oracle Analytics Cloud. And they use Oracle Spatial for uh, a variety of, of purposes around um, maintaining their assets. Uh, for example, they, they use Oracle Spatial and uh, Oracle Spatial Studio to conduct assessments of risk to their assets uh, from, uh, from predicted uh, storms and uh, determining which assets are within different proximities that could uh, pose risk. And they also use Oracle Spatial to, uh, to assess the, uh, the best locations to, um, to place new assets. Miracle Finland is a database consultancy, of course, based in Finland. And uh, 
recently a group of volunteers from Miracle Finland built a really nice COVID-19 exposure tracking application for the country of, of Finland. They built this application on the Oracle Cloud uh, free tier using the, uh, um, the free tier resources of Oracle Autonomous Database, which includes Spatial and Oracle Application Express, which has uh, built-in mapping and integration with Oracle Spatial, in order to create an application uh, displaying reports and trends and maps for uh, outbreaks and exposure to COVID-19 across the country. And it has uh, withstood roughly 300,000 uh, users in a couple hours of uh, peak usage. So pretty robust application, uh, uh, particularly if you consider that it's built on a uh, cloud set of free um, resources in the free tier of Oracle Cloud. So this application brings data in from uh, public data sources, public data sources of, uh, of outbreaks, and then delivers summary, uh, summary statistics as well as trends, and then a whole bunch of mapping. Uh, and the data is all managed in Oracle Autonomous Database, including the location data. And uh, the mapping is all driven by Oracle Spatial into Oracle Application Express. So we've looked at what spatial is and a few examples of how it's used. Spatial is just a feature of Oracle Autonomous Database. In fact, it's just a feature of uh, every edition of Oracle Database. Provides the ability to manage location data just as a native data type within the database and ask all kinds of location-based questions. We took a look at how developers can use the various uh, SQL and Java and other APIs, and less technical users can work with Spatial Studio. The whole spatial ecosystem of uh, tools and applications across the industry use uh, Oracle Spatial. And at the end of the day, it's all about the ability to ask important business questions that have to do with location and location relationships. I hope this has piqued your interest in Spatial and uh, that you'd want to learn a little bit more. There's a set of resources here that I would encourage you to take a look at. And at the bottom of this list are a couple of links for the Analytics and Data Oracle user community, which is a broad-based uh, community uh, involving the whole sort of analytics space. But within the Analytics and Data Oracle user community is a uh, is a sort of spatial subgroup. So I'd invite you to join uh, join that community and take a look at, uh, at the Slack channel there. And finally, if you are interested in looking a little bit deeper from the developer perspective, please continue on with the session titled All About Spatial in Oracle Database, where we will get into more detail from the developer perspective. And I thank you very much for joining.